Hello guys, how are you? Hope you're fine. And it's your teacher, Mr. Hamza Matamu. And today we are going to talk about uh, the themes that we get in the short story, Memories We Lost. Okay? So, what, but before I go to the themes, I would like to define for you what a theme is. So a theme is a central topic, idea, uh, that we get in a story, okay? So, uh, the first uh, theme in this, uh, in this uh, short story is the effect of mental illness. So now, we are going to look at the effects of the mental illness. Okay, uh, that, so this story revolves around a sick girl, okay, a sick girl and her sister. And then uh, this sick girl, this uh, sister who has this mental illness and, uh, uh, and, and the effects, and we are going to look at the, this mental illness, uh, its effects uh, in those, in this victim, uh, and, and, and its effects on the people who are, who surrounds her or who are around her, okay? So the first thing that this thing, this disease took was her speech, okay? So this, uh, the first thing that, that this disease took was her speech. Uh, we see that uh, in the story that the sister loses her speech. She cannot talk. The second thing is that the memories now began to fade away. So which means that we are losing memories. And these stories, memories are lost. Okay? So if I can quote, and if you are explaining a theme, you give a, a quote. You quote from the story, okay? And then you explain whatever you have quote. So memories faded one after another, one after uh, the other until our past was a blur. So these are the memories we lost. Then this story also is a horrifying and this mental illness is a horrifying, is horrifying and it has a dehumanizing effect on the victim. Why? Because every time, every time this thing took her, she returned altered, unrecognizable, okay, unrecognizable. Uh, as if two people were trapped inside her. Okay, so the whole community also is also affected by this uh, mental illness. Why? Because uh, at night, the girl uh, with the mental illness runs away. And so the mother and the sister had to uh, wake up and go to search, uh, go in search of her. But in going out to search for her, they needed assistance from the community. So the whole village, the whole village, wakes up and go out and search for her. Okay, so they wake up from their sleep and go out and search for her. So we can see that it has an effect also in. Uh, in the, in, the, in, the, in the people or in the villagers, okay? The second theme. The second theme is mental illness itself, okay? So you write mental illness. So now, the author describes uh, and gives us a picture of the disease, how a person who has the disease reacts. So we get that. Uh, every time this disease took her, okay, she returned, altered, unrecognizable. And also you can say that uh, as it was as if two people were inside her, okay? So, and also you can say that, you can give out the quote of uh, why uh, when this disease attacked the girl, okay, she threw hot porridge in her. Okay, so we are explained how these things uh, happen, so she can do anything. She, in short, the disease is uncontrollable. You cannot control the disease if you have it and if it attacks you. Okay, she flunks the desk from while she was in class when the disease attacked her. Okay, so there was a vivid description of the disease. 
Another thing it is a harrowing, mindless and, and violent disease. So which means this disease when it attacks one does not know what she does. She flanked the desk, the desk from the class, from the classroom. Okay? She throws a bowl of hot porridge to her sister. And her sister was in pain. So it is a violent disease. One cannot control himself. It is also caught up in violent uh, superstition. So which means uh, mm, this disease, there was a lot of superstition, the Sangomas, they came, they did rituals, okay? There was this, this rituals of tobacco, meat, and uh, tobacco meat and what? Uh, tobacco meat and... Uh, and matchbox. So there was this ritual also of tobacco meat and matchbox. So it is caught up in in, in violent superstitions, okay? So, we have uh, this disease in, uh, we, when we explain violent superstition, we can also mention Kunzi, who is a Sangoma, a traditional healer. So he begs people who have demons. Eh? So what he did is he, he, he lights up a, a fire, okay? Uh, and then, he creates a fire. What he did, what he did, he do, he does. Nkunzi, he creates a fire, and then, and then, uh, and then puts uh, uh, the victims, those who have demons, uh, as they say. Uh, so they put them in a uh, in a zinc roofed section, and then they put them onto the fire. So. It is a really violent superstition, okay? So the third, uh, the third is ignorance and superstition. I, like I said, you can quote and uh, you can also explain. So these people refer to this disease as the thing, okay? saying that it is the work of devil and demons. So they are ignorant as they do not know if this disease is a medical condition, okay? I hope you have understood that. So now another quote that explains these people are ignorant and uh, they are held or caught up in a superstition is that none of them knew my sister, none of them care, is that these people are ignorant, okay? So you can explain superstition uh, in in referring uh, in these villagers referring uh, the disease as the thing and then they looked for Nkunzi they go to Nkunzi who is a traditional healer Asanguma who begs those who have demons in short who begs those who have this disease and they do not know if it is a mental uh, if it is a medical condition okay so they go so they go to Nkunzi and uh, Nkunzi begs these people, uh, saying that these people have demons, okay? Ah. So now, we let uh, the fourth uh, theme is love and empathy. So when you explain love and empathy, is you look at the unconditional love, which is between the two sisters. So the two sisters love one another, okay? They love one another. I can give you one quote. One quote is that the only way to have torn me away from her would have been to cut us apart. This was during the ritual. They held one another tightly, okay? So that this shows the, uncondition the unconditional love these two siblings have. Another theme, another minor theme is the education. Uh, and when we look at education, is we look at the challenges uh, of education. Uh, the education was hindered here, okay? So the two sisters, uh, 
this we, we can look at the sibling who is sick uh, she cannot go to school why because of the illness okay and the sister and also the sibling the sister uh, of the sister who has the who has this disease she cannot also go to school why because her sister has this disease and they wanted she wanted to be with her okay so uh, this disease hinders their education thank you so much uh, for listening to uh, this uh, this lesson of themes you can also uh, have other minor themes like tradition and others okay so thank you so much for listening to to this to to this lesson and um, it's been your teacher mr hamza matamu and the next lesson would be the styles of the memories we lost then we go to uh, another short story have a nice time bye bye